Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics Guide. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit headache grower. Today, high class growers, we're gonna be talking a little bit about fish stocking density. So let's jump right into it. But before we jump into it, I wanna thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there. All of you guys, I do. Now, let's jump right into it so we can get on with what we got going today. Uh, this question here comes from DJ Kane. The freak is going on, DJ Kane. Says, how do I know how densely to stock fish? I'm trying to start a small aquaponics setup and I'm just not sure how much fish I'd need to grow. Four 10 foot NFT channels of spinach and four tomato plants at a time. Well, DJ Kane, I got a little something for you. I put together a few calculations for you and I'm gonna help you out to the best of my ability for this particular uh, circumstance that you're in. Now, you didn't give a lot of information for this question, so I had to make a lot of assumptions, but hopefully this will give you uh, an idea of what it is that you can do with that particular size system and how uh, much fish that you can fit in a tank to support that size of uh, a system that you want to put together. So we're going to go ahead and whip this thing out real quick, man. I'm going to get to this. I'm going to set it up real quick and then uh, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to go through it and then just kind of give you the gist of what I put together and then um, you'll be able to see from there. So. Let's get right to that. All right, now we got the board set up. We're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna answer that first part of the question first, or we need to deal with that first before we can get the, or excuse me, we need to deal with the second part of the question first when we're, you're talking about your um, the plants that you're growing and the size NFT system that you have before we deal with the first part of the question, which is dealing with the stocking density. Right, so we got to break down some calculations first, which I'm not going to break all the way down. If you're in the aquaponic guide course or you have the aquaponic guide manual, then you should know these um, formulas here. You should know this whole formula here and be able to follow me. So I'm going to go through it kind of real quick so we can get to what we need to get to. Now, as far as your plant production, you had your four NFT channels, 10 feet. And then you had your tomatoes. I'm going to assume you're going to be growing your tomatoes also in a sort of NFT, either a Dutch bucket or it could be an NFT with just wider sides and a deeper trough. Doesn't matter. We'll lump it together. When we break down the calculations of the plant area, you get 4.4 square meters, right? So we got 4.4 square meters of growing area. The next thing we can get down to is the feeding rate, which for an NFT system, it's going to be somewhere between 24 and 40 grams of feed per square meter of growing space per day, right? So I feed at this system here that you see, the NFT here, I feed at 32 grams. That's what the production I, I have right now. And um, if you feed at that rate for, you know, smaller type of crops, it works out fine. Still needs more testing and more research on the feeding rates, but these have worked um, for me, for the most part, um, when I do my NFT um, system feeding. So the daily feeding rate is going to be 0 0.1 or 0 0.14 kilograms. This is how much you're going to feed per day. When you break these two, when you add the, or uh, um, um, consider the growing, um, the growing area and the feeding uh, rate per day, right? That's going to give you, or the feeding rate per growing area, excuse me. That's going to give you your, um, your daily feed. Now the annual feed is going to be 51 kilograms. The feed conversion rate or the feed conversion ratio and your feed efficiency ratio, I'm going to assume that you're going to be growing tilapia. You didn't say a fish. So we're going to plug these numbers in 1.7 for the feed conversion ratio and 59% for the feed efficiency ratio. That's basically how 59% of the feed you put in is going to go towards the fish rate, uh, fish weight, excuse me. That's what that's breaking down to fish weight from the feed that's how much your um fish are gonna gain 
when the, with the feed that you put in there, they're going to get 30 kilograms. The harvest weight, we're going to assume that you want a 680 gram tilapia or a 1.5 pound tilapia. That's what that breaks down to, which is, you know, an industry standard. Some you can harvest at a, a, um, a lower weight. Uh, some you may uh, you can be able to go up higher, but 680 grams is a 1.5 pound fish That suffices the stocking size. This is your fingerling stocking size We're gonna assume you put 50 gram fingerlings in there to start off before so they're gonna be 50 grams before you put them in your main your main uh, Production area, right? So the requirement the required weight gain is gonna be 630 grams That's what they need to gain after they've been stocked at 50 grams they need to gain that much weight. The number of fish to harvest, you're going to get 48 fish out of this per year, right? This is what you're going to get out of that per year. This is a small system. Total weight gain. This is total weight gain, um, and this is annually. You're going to get 33 kilograms, right? That's what you're going to get annually. The grow out period, we're going to make an assumption of 24 weeks. Now, this is at the God level. This here is at the God level. This is not typical, but I'm just going to plug these numbers in here. Once you get there, I want you to have something to reach for. At the God level, you can get 24 weeks to grow a tilapia from a 50 gram fingerling, depending on the tilapia species that you grow, particularly a Nile tilapia, right? The blue tilapia are going to grow a little bit slower, but we're just going to make that assumption there. The harvest interval, we're going to say you want your fish every six weeks. Right? You want, your, you want to harvest some fish every six weeks, either to slap your lips on, give to the neighbors, or um, you know, uh, provide to some friends. Number of fish tanks, based off of your grow out period and your harvest interval, that's going to give you four fish tanks that's required to meet that standard, which is going to give you 8.7 harvests per year. Right, That's what you can expect if everything is systematically put together and it's on track the water temperature all it, all this is going to be it's going to vary depending on uh, certain other water quality parameters but we're just using this as a standard the weight per harvest is going to get is going to be 3.8 kilograms that's what you can expect to harvest every six weeks with the with, with your water quality up to um up to standard right so now that we have this configured now we can jump into the first part of your question which is dealing with the stocking density. The stocking density, how do you know how dense to stock this system? Now, what I recommend for an NFT system is for a final grow out weight of 40 to 60 kilograms per cubic meter of water. That's 40 to 60 kilograms of fish weight per cubic meter of water, which breaks down to a one third to half pound per gallon, right? One third to half pound per gallon. Now, when you break this down, you're going to need a water volume. In order to meet this, we're going to assume that you want 40 kilograms per cubic meter. So in order to get this water volume, that's going to give you a, um, uh, in order to meet this, it's going to require a water volume of 0 0.095 cubic meters or 95 liters or 25 gallons, right? And you break this down, you just divide your, your, um, your weight per harvest divided by whatever stocking density you want. So that 3.8 kilograms, you divide that by that 40, and then that's going to give you your stocking density or your water volume to maintain or to achieve that stocking density, right? So hopefully this helps you out. I know it's quick. We went through it quick, but this is a long formula and it's, it can be tedious. It has a lot of assumptions in here, but it's a, a formula that gets you on the right track, right? It gets you on the right track. Let me get down here a little bit so you can see me. Um, it gets you on the right track and it gives you something to project, right? So this is what you can base it off of, but for the NFT, this is what I would, um, I would keep it around this stocking density, right? If you go too far and you try to do, you know, you try to do 10 kilograms per cubic meter, well, the water volume, or the uh, the water volume is going to be a big uh, a difference in water volume, which is going to impact your stocking density. So we want to keep it around here to keep the system in balance. It's important, right? So this is what we're dealing with. Dog is going crazy around here. Ten X, come here, man. 
Come here, man. Come here. Come here, man. You wanna, what's up, man? Come here, come here. You wanna be on the camera or something, man? Dog going crazy, but anyways, that's the breakdown, ladies and gentlemen. I had to, oh, he's going crazy right now. So I'm trying to stop him so he don't mess up the video, but if any of you guys have other questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Let me get this out of the way. Get back on my thing, man. Right, leave it in the comment section below and then we can go over it, we can talk about it. Right, so I wanna thank you again, DJ Kane, for leaving your comment. Hopefully this has helped you out, give you something to look at and something to think about when you're putting your system together. Once again, I wanna thank you guys out there from Aquaponics Paradise for watching the video, for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Phenomenal, phenomenal subscribers out there. You guys are amazing. So if you guys need more help, you can visit the school of aquaponics.com to get an aquaponics paradise as a paid, um, the paid um, course and the paid community there. And you can learn aquaponics, get the fundamentals down, and then get growing. Right? So until next time, I look forward to seeing you guys again. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the school of aquaponics reminding you to stop walking. and get you a car.